This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. There's a few rules for variable names. Oh, this is important stuff. Capitalization matters. My var is not the same as my var, right? It isn't. The computer doesn't even understand that. This capital V and this lowercase v to code to programming languages is the same as a capital V and the number six. Okay, so let's be conscious of capitalization. Variable names cannot have spaces. Never, ever, ever can you have a space in a variable name. It's the same with the website, actually. You can't have a space in, like, Amazon.com or whatever. Anyways, all right, my var and my underscore var are allowed. Yeah, underscores are usually allowed, but my space var is not. Yes, the computer would think these are two separate variables, or it wouldn't know what you wanted. My uh, variables can't start with a number. So var2 would work, or like score2 or score17, all of that would work. But 2var or 2score or 17score, that does not. Variable names should always be clear and meaningful. Yes, a program will rapidly become uh, cumbersome, difficult, hard to use if it doesn't have clear names. Oh, just kidding. We have to be in text mode. Debug this program so that it runs without errors. Well, let's check the errors. Let me hit run. Syntax, unexpected token at 17. Oh, I'm just going to go zoop. Okay, so at 17 here, there's an unexpected token, and I think it means at character 16. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes. So it's trying to tell us. It says, hey, is this a variable name? Because if it is, you can't have this space, right? Line 17, character or letter 16. Well, that's right here. So let's eliminate that, and that should work. Let's try. Okay. Looking good. So this is a bit grumpy. Boom. What's it doing now? Let's see if the instructions give us any help. Debug the program. Nope. Okay. Add three lines to the story. Make sure you use at least one variable. Okay. So the red is a immediate error. It's like, hey, your program crashed. Yellow says, we don't know what this is. It's probably an error. All right. So let's look at council log pet name. Uh-oh. What's up here, though? You see, this is completely different. So I can do this. Because this is camel case where you capitalize the next new word. You could lowercase this, but it's traditional to use camel case where it's pet capital N name. Because then we can understand it's two different words, pet name. Since we can't use spaces, it makes it easier to read. Now let's pay attention to the yellow code. Council.log wait. This is telling me I don't have wait. Well, what might they mean? Oh, well, up here I have pet wait. So that's probably the mistake there. Let's do pet wait with a capital W. Yep, great. And no space. Now, pet name, what's this issue? So we have a capital N, but look, we always want to start variables with a lowercase p. Technically, they will work otherwise, but when we get into classes and things like that, variables should just start with a lowercase letter. All right, so let's go ahead and change this to the lowercase one, and let's see if we got them all. And the yellow is showing it run through the code. Jackson, Iguana. 60 council log this is a story about a pet jackson okay so it looks like our variables are working we need to add more code it asked us to so let's go ahead and reset so add three lines of story here make sure you reference at least one variable i'm gonna make something up right so i know there's a city named jackson so i named Oh, look at this. I named pet type. That's an error. We don't want to print out pet type. We want to print out the pet type, I think. Okay. And they're using it like that, so I'll do this. I named console name after the city, we'll say. Okay, and so add three lines to the story here. Oh, three lines. So that doesn't mean three lines of code. Okay. I am glad I have a pet. 
Oh, it will add three lines because how it prints out. Perfect. So we need a semicolon here and a semicolon here. Great. And I use pet name. Let's go ahead. I'm going to speed this up a bit and hit run. Oh, I don't need a space there, but that won't super matter because it's not on the same line anyways. But cool. We got it. These are tricky, especially with strings and concatenation. And then also variable names are important when using strings for, well, concatenating and things like that. Let's keep going. 